Most New York City locals want nothing to do with rats. Kenny Boltworks' job is looking for them. It was simply a request from my boss at the pizzeria, filming his pizza. There was like so many rats were outside of this construction site. He's like, you gotta go see it, it's crazy. Put it on one of your videos. I'm like, I don't know, like rats, videos, I don't think it's gonna be a good combination. But it was. The 36-year-old started sharing videos of locations with rat problems. I'm like, what can I do to kind of make a problem that we're seeing out here? So I started to do film and submit the video that I was filming on TikTok to the city of New York. So the 311 number is the number that you get rat complaints to. So I started submitting those videos to 311. The videos became so popular that he started offering rat tours. Oh, my goodness, they're everywhere. People have been visiting New York City. They want to go out with me to these different locations, kind of see for themselves. Is it really that bad as Kenny's saying on TikTok? You know, and it is. So I'm like, all right, I'll come out and we'll make a tour out of it. Tours are $50 a person. So the tours start at 10.30 p.m. and it takes about an hour and we stop along the way, take pictures, videos, all that kind of stuff. People are just excited to be out in the wilderness of New York City, walking around like a safari and looking for rats. It's awesome. Kenny has learned a lot about rats' habits, making them easier to find. Trash needs to be out on the sidewalk for the rats to come out. And that's when we go. And there's like 30 in the bag. Holy shit. They're very smart. And when the rats notice there's no one walking, that's running out to the trash. And that's when we sit there and wait. Nowhere is safe. They can climb. They're very athletic. They're more athletic than I am. They're little creatures that can climb up all the way on top of a roof. His hobby has earned him the nickname Rat Daddy. Yeah, so the nickname came from the TikTok community. They started saying, like, you're the daddy, you're the rat daddy because you're getting rid of them. They all know when you're there, so they hide. Basically, all this kind of stuff, all these funny jokes came of it. Occasionally, Kenny will call out businesses hoping their rodent problems get handled. I'm here to actually help the city. That's the worst part. If you know there's a problem and you're not doing anything about it, and people are still buying food out of your place of business, like, we have to do better than that. And he plans on taking his tours to other rodent-infested cities. I love going out in the middle of the night. I love being passionate and like creating videos that show what's really going on. I love learning animal behavior. I mean, I'm not a scientist or anything, but I love like just researching like why I do rare the way they act. You know, I've learned so much about how, how smart they are. So many people have already started copying and going around the city, but everyone always goes into their comments is like, no, there's only one rat daddy. You can't replicate it. But yeah, there's only one rat daddy right here. So. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.